This is the Avaya Podcast Network. APN. Technology, news, and information. All in one place. Welcome to the Avaya Podcast Network. I'm Mark Fletcher, and this is a video series on corporate internet broadcasting. These informative videos are designed to give you the basic knowledge to start your journey on corporate internet broadcasting. In this first episode, we're going to cover the various forms of broadcasting that are most commonly used out on the internet. This will allow you to decide where to start from. Let's start with the podcast. The podcast was probably one of the first forms of media broadcasting to go viral on the internet. Uh, it's the easiest to produce, host, and distribute. But where does the term podcast actually come from? It's actually a contraction of two words, iPod and broadcast, and was made popular by Apple's iTunes. But podcasts have grown up, and certain people, such as Twit TV's Leo Laporte, prefer to call them netcasts, as they're not specific to Apple devices. Now, personally, I put the term podcast into the same category as I do Band-Aid. Now, even though Band-Aid's a registered trademark of the Johnson & Johnson Corporation, I don't believe I've heard anyone ever ask for an adhesive bandage for their boo-boo. Now, since there's no trademark on podcast, we're just going to ignore its roots with Apple and use it to refer to any media that can be played and downloaded onto a portable device from the internet. Blogging. Now, many don't consider this broadcasting. In its truest form, it's really an ongoing internet diary by an individual. Today, regular articles or news stories that are published with any kind of frequency are typically considered blogs. Vlogs and videos. The term vlog never really caught on, probably because it's just not easy to say. But basically, a vlog is a video blog. Again, produced with some frequency and available at a central distribution point. One of the most common forms is the YouTube channel. However, not all YouTube videos are really considered vlogs. Again, going back to the frequency and distribution. These are typically just called internet shows and they're distributed on YouTube instead of being broadcast live. That brings us to our last category, which is live broadcast on the internet. Now these shows are still in their growth state, but services such as Livestream and Ustream allow subscribers to take internet video to the next level. They provide a platform to actually host live shows as well as offer playback of past episodes and allow users to create that channel environment. The technology required to produce content of this nature is really easily obtainable, extremely affordable, and in-house production can really start to rival commercial production with really some amazing results. We're going to try and cover each one of these technologies in future videos. Be sure to follow us on Twitter at Avaya underscore APN and tweet us with any comments or questions that you might have. For the Avaya Podcast Network, this is Fletch. Thanks for watching. We'll catch you next time. This is the Avaya Podcast Network. APN. Technology, news, and information. All in one place.